Hi, Kirby. This is Brianna from Toriard Digital Marketing. Lisa spoke with my employee, Haley, and said that we could send you this video. So I'm just making this quick video to give you tips on how to use Google's language on your website so that you can start appearing at the top of what your customers are searching and you're going to be getting more business. The reason we're doing this is because I used to own my own roofing company here in Alaska, so I understand the struggles contractors go through, but I also understand being a business owner is really busy work and you don't have the free time to sit in front of the computer every day and learn how to make the internet work for you to bring customers to you. And what we found is the biggest thing that holds business owners back from hiring a marketing agency is not knowing who to trust, not knowing who's going to be an expert and deliver results or who's going to you know, be a waste of time and money. So we believe in giving value up front and we've been making these custom plans of attack and giving them away for free. There's still been lots of business owners that reach back out to us and ask for our help to get this stuff completed, but we only take on one exclusive client per industry in any area because we don't want to compete with ourselves. So if after this video you see that we know our stuff and you're confident we can deliver the results you're looking for, please go ahead and give us a call and we can have a chat. If you want to take this information and use it to make changes yourself, please do. This is free education. Um, I'm here to talk about three quick points today. Content, citations and backlinks. So I'm on your homepage here. You guys have a good looking site. Uh, you even have your job postings listed, which is awesome. Uh, you've got the click to call and your contact form to fill out. This is a good looking site. Now the appearance of the site is always for the customers. Google is not ranking your site based on looks. Google is using bots called crawlers that are scanning all of the content within your site. And the bots are trying to find keywords to rank you for in the customer's search results. So for Google, content is king. It's recommended you have at least 1,500 words on the homepage and you want at least 500 words on each back service page. You also want to use a rule of thumb. For every keyword, you want at least 100 words of content to support it. When you have your site built this way, it's actually going to do two things for you. It shows Google you're an expert in the industry, and it will have Google putting your website at the top of more search results, which means more customers for you. An example of a keyword is Knoxville Roofing Company, getting a couple hundred searches a month. When customers do this search or any search, they're going to see this map pack or Google My Business. You already have your GMB listed in the top three, so congratulations, that's you know, a good feat to overcome. Now to get above your two competitors here and optimize it, you need to make sure you have your contact information listed into citations, which are online directories like Yelp, Yellow Pages, White Pages. Obviously there's thousands out there, but the goal is to have your information on at least a hundred directories more than your competitors here to rank above them. Now, if we continue down, we're going to see the organic search results. The top few sites get rotated by Google for that top position, but your top competitor here is Barnett Roofing, who's also dominating the map pack. So taking a look at their site, we can see what they've been doing and why that 1500-500 rule of thumb is going to make sure you're beating them. Um, for the other side of things, we use this paid tool called AREPS. Now, this is showing what's happening on the back end of your website. I can see here you have a homepage ranking of 28. Your entire website has a domain ranking of 13. Now these rankings are on a scale from 0 to 100, comparing your website to every other website on the internet. And the ranking is made by the backlinks. A backlink is just another site online linking to you and pushing traffic your way. Google uses these to be competitive, so before you link to a site, be careful. Not all backlinks are created equal. Uh, make sure that it is a high ranking site and relevant to the roofing industry. Right now you have 728 links coming from 228 different sites. You have 841 keywords and all of this is giving you 284 traffic. I also want to point out a lot of that traffic is not people looking for services in your area. The reason I say that is because if we look at the top positions where you're getting the most traffic on Google, you're getting 70 searches a month for your company name, which is great. You're getting a good amount of traffic for that. But then the other things that you're ranking number one for are trim around garage door, garage door opening trim, roof inspection, chalk markings. You know, there's no buyer intent. These aren't customers looking for roofers in your area.
So a lot of this traffic may just be people looking for the educational information that you've put within your photos. Um, so that's 284 traffic. Now, if we take a look at Barnet Roofing, who we know is ranking for a buyer intent keyword in the area, we're going to see they actually have a weaker site than you. And this is caused because of just the types of backlinks that you're that they're using. And it's also there's a lot less uh, keywords that they've got going on. They have half the keywords you guys do, but they're at 229 traffic. So what we're going to do is we're, we'll search through their backlinks to find if there's any really good ones to put on your site and give you more ranking. But we're going to mainly be hunting down backlinks none of your competitors use and putting them on your site so that you can have the strongest site to dominate the market. Um, and the big thing is half of their keywords, they're buyer intent keywords. They're not m more meant for education purposes. So we know that the people that the searches that they're getting ranked on are people looking for a service. So if only half the visitors to their site are looking for that service and become customers, that's still 110 plus roof opportunities each month. So, you know, there's always room to grow. I just wanted to show you guys how to kind of beat out your top competitor right now based on some of the keywords. Uh, quick recap, you guys are going to want 50 1,500 words or more on the homepage, at least 500 on each back service page. Use that rule of thumb. This is one keyword. You want at least 100 words of content to support each keyword. Then you need your contact information in at least 100 to 150 online directories more than your top competitors here to outrank them on the map pack. And you need to go get high quality backlinks that are relevant to the roofing industry and high ranking to make sure that you can beat on ranking. Um, so with these three steps, if you implement them, you guys are going to be ranking number one across Google and see great results. Um, all that my team is really looking for is the feedback to know if we delivered good value when we sent out this video. But if you did want any help getting this stuff done because you see the value in it and you just don't have the time to spare yourself, go ahead and give us a call. Like I said, we will have a chat and see if we're going to be a good fit because we only look to take on one exclusive client. And that means exclusive leads for you and we'll have your phone ringing off the hook with customers or even employees if you're looking to get more people. I see that you've got your jobs. Uh, Haley will follow up in the next few days just to get feedback on this video. So I want to say thank you for taking the time to watch it. I hope you got good value out of it. Enjoy your weekend.